Can y'all hear me, y'all? Uh-uh, wait, am I doing this right? Oh my God, how do I? <laughs> okay, this is my first time to, okay, whew, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Who yeah, who yeah. Okay. Child, I don't know what I'm doing, but this is the first time I'm trying to do this like live thing when I'm gonna incorporate different things, like different clips and stuff. But can y'all see me? Can y'all see me? Yes, right? Okay. You know what? I wasn't even looking at the Yes, y'all see me? Yes, and can y'all hear me? Yes! Hey, y'all, it's your sister! All right, y'all, let's get this video started, child. So, Fallon Pena said, if and when she runs into Portia Williams, it will be no talking. <laughs> Sending Portia Williams a threat during Black Women's Black Women's Eclipse Month is crazy. Clear. I made magic with these hundreds, watch them disappear. Uh huh. Big ol' raindrops up in my ear. If you gon' name drop, let's get it clear. Just you. Chanel during Black Women's Black Eclipse Month, y'all. How y'all doing? I'm so sorry. This week, um, I've been a little. Who has been a lot going on in my in my uh work and personal life? So it just was a lot going on. But I knew I had to come on here and talk about a couple things, child. Okay, so before I get into it, just want to remind you guys that I am going to Cartagena, Colombia. Cartagena, Colombia. Okay. If you want to come with me to Cartagena, Colombia, you need to go to wukation.net and you can go on to the website. You can see that I'll have all the info there for you guys to see. If you guys will join me, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. All the activities are already arranged. Um, the price is set for you to go ahead and join in on the activities. Hotel information is there. Everything that you need is there to join me. So, uh, oh, somebody said that they, they paid the deposit. Okay. Lover of souls, paid deposit, period. Um, what else? What are the, uh, uh, okay, I'm trying to, okay, so I just realized I can see you guys' comments too. Uh, okay, so yes. Yeah, so, okay, so again, Cartagena, that's going to be in June. So if you want to come with me to Cartagena, Colombia, um, go ahead and go to wukation.net, okay? And um, all the information will be there for you guys. So anyway, how are y'all doing? Um, this week I had to go to work. So I went to uh, New York to go film a show called Listen to Black Women. I've been a part of Listen to Black Women for the past six years. And um, the show is, is recently got like a, a, a facelift and it's getting more sponsorship. So it looks like it's gonna be, you know, going bigger than what it has been before. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I did it with Melissa Ford, Tori Hart, uh, Claudia Jordan, Danielle Young, L'Oreal is the host of it. I'm trying to think um, if there's anybody else. I think that's it. Um, let me show you guys a little clip of it too. Who are you? Okay, little clip of yeah. you. Work. <laughs> Yeah, so that was pretty good. Uh, what else? Um, last night I saw Mr. Easter. He said we have pork Calvin and um, he said pork Calvin has the best coffee. Boozy or boozy? I never had. I didn't even know pork Calvin had coffee. Y'all who live in Atlanta, have you ever been to pork Calvin? Wow, this is a lot. This. Let me know. This is the best pound cake in Atlanta. All right, well, let's see. Yeah, so um, we went there. It was so freaking. Good. Who are you? 
so good. Um, the pound cake was really, really good. And so he's streaming, right? Yeah, y'all. Um, is this the Ghanaian? No. <laughs> no. Child, no. Absolutely not. This is, um, Mr. Easter is Black American. His family is from North Carolina. You know what's so funny is I recently met a guy from North Carolina and he was like, I mean, we were talking to each other here and there, but it just, it wasn't really giving nothing. Like he's in North Carolina. I'm here in Atlanta. North Carolina is not far from, North, from, from Atlanta. He wasn't really given that he would come over here and see me. It just wasn't given that. It wasn't really given like no effort. It was, it was given very low effort. And it's like, you know, if you're not really putting no effort forward, like I'm just, I, I'm, I'm not your girl. Like I'm not your girl. Cause I'm, I'm not going to give you no effort. Like if you don't give me no effort, baby, you're not getting no effort from me. Like you have to give me effort for me to give you effort. So oh, I hate what my wig is doing. Child. My wig is doing this stupid shit. Child. Come on, wig. Come on, wig. Come on, wig. Come on, wig. Um, but yeah, if you're not giving me no effort, baby, I you're not gonna get no effort from me. Um, but Mr. Easter is I don't know, y'all. I'm not gonna say he's, but I'm gonna say he's do y'all get what I'm saying? Like he's I don't know. He's just, you know what it is? <sighs> Whose house we in? Child, we in Mr. Easter's house. This is Mr. Easter's house, okay? This ain't mine. Mr. Easter got money, so this is his house, okay? We inside his house. Okay, we are in his motherfucking house. This ain't my damn, this ain't my, I ain't got no damn fireplace. Actually, I do have a fireplace in my home. I'm tripping. I have a fireplace downstairs. Uh, I don't have a piano or anything. I don't have a grand piano, but you know, but we in his house. Hey, 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 hey. We in his house. Hey, During Black Women's Black Eclipse Month. Um, but we um what was I gonna say? You know what it is? I'm I'm really shocked, y'all. Like I, I and I don't wanna, I'm not gonna turn into one of those girls that's like my man, my man, my, I'm I'm not gonna do that. But I will tell you that. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you guys are harmonizing with the air wool. Some of y'all were in the comments like, girl, because on my last video, y'all was like, girl, you did not harmonize the air wool. I couldn't. I was at work. I was I was filming listening to black women and I didn't have my microphone with me. And it just it just wasn't gonna work. Um, but the thing with Mr. Easter is he is everything I was scared God wouldn't give me. Does that make sense? He's everything I was scared that God wouldn't give me. He's everything I was scared to ask God for. Like, he's really everything. Like, so I think I'm just like in shock. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm in shock because I'm like, oh my God, this guy, this man really does exist. You know, and um, he, even if he doesn't pan out to be like my husband or, or, or whatever, I feel I feel like this is just the best. This has been the best dating experience, the healthiest dating experience I've had, and like ever, ever. He's a very good communicator. Um, he is thoughtful. He is generous. He is kind. He is like very loving. Like he loves on me, even though like I'm, I'm not going to say he loves me, but like he loves on me. I don't know if you, if you guys can understand what that means. Like when somebody loves on you, they love on you, right? Um, their actions, the way they speak to you. Like we've had very rough conversations already. And just the way we work through stuff that we don't agree with, like, it's just really, 
is just mature. He's mature. He's grown. And um, and he's a great kisser, too. So I just hope it did good. But I don't know. I, I haven't had a dick yet. <laughs> What's his sign? He's a Capricorn. Do you guys have any 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 warnings about Capricorns? Any warnings about Capricorns? Let me know now. But he is a Jesus is a Capricorn. I just want to put that out there. Jesus is a yeah, Jesus is a Capricorn. Hey, whoa. I'm just saying, Jesus is a is a Capricorn. Okay. So yeah, somebody said my dad's a, a Capricorn. They can be materialistic. I can see that because he likes really nice things. He likes really nice things. Tyrese is a Capricorn. Ooh, why would you share that? Ugh. Not what do you want from me? Oh my God, not not cry, Reese. <laughs> Capricorns are very practical and wait. Oh damn, how do I? How do I? Oh, damn. I, I, I don't know how to. Financially, Capricorns are great, but they can be a little control, a little bit controlling. Yeah, he's very good financially. Uh, I decay, but Capricorns are a damn near perfect match for cancers. Oh, didn't know that. Jesus is not a Capricorn. Yes, he is. Jesus' birthday is the 25th. He a Capricorn. Um, Capricorns work hard. He is very hardworking. Capricorns can be workaholics. He is. He, he's low-key, high-key, a workaholic. Yeah. He's definitely, yeah. Oh, y'all, y'all are saying all the things. <laughs> y'all are saying all the things. Earth and water signs balance each other out. Mm. Mm. Um, just don't center him, Jesse. He's just a guy. Oh, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a cancer. Telling a cancer not to censor her, man. <laughs> Have y'all met cancer women's during Black Women's Black Eclipse Month? Before I continue to, shout out to all my Ramadan niggas. Ramadan did just end. Um, Mubarak Ramadan to everybody who had uh, who celebrated Ramadan. I, although I am not Muslim, I really feel like Ramadan was blessed for me. I saw some things happened in my life during Ramadan that I feel like, wow, like this is really a blessed, a blessed time. Um, and yeah, I, 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 so shout out to all my Ramadan, Ramadan people. Um, I, I really feel like this was a blessed time. Um, and that, um, God really, I don't know, God really showed up in my, in, in my life. Um, and 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 answered a answered a couple prayers. Um yeah, so shout out to all my Muslims who celebrated Ramadan and maybe what do you guys say? Abu 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 Dula. I be I be seeing the stuff, but I don't really I don't be knowing how to say stuff. But you know what? Ramadan Mubarak to all y'all. I love you guys. And um um, free Palestine, all that stuff. I, I've told you guys before, I feel like Haiti is the Gaza of the Caribbean. Unfortunately, we're both going through similar things. So I just want to, so what is it? Al Alhamdul Alhamdulillah? Alhamdulillah. I hope I said it right. Alhamdulillah. So yes. And, and I, I, you know, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I'm not trying to, you know, offend anybody, but you know, um, love you. Just want to send y'all love. I feel like I, I feel like God blessed me during this time. I really feel like He blessed me during this time. Um, but yeah, y'all. So anyway, Mr. East is doing good. Hopefully, we we you know we continue to do well. Last weekend, he met my friends, and that was great. And so yeah, things are going really well. So we'll see. We'll see where this ends. But I just wanted to share that you know. I am seeing somebody and it's, it's, it's going well. I'm really, really happy. Like, I'm really excited. This is just really good. I'm like, and I was thinking too, like, cause like when I finished work, I flew back from New York and usually like I would get back home. I would fill my stuff. I was like, no, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go see him. I gotta go see him. So 
um, we spent time together and I was just thinking, damn, like, what if I really do like, what if I, what if he really becomes my man? Like, how am I going to balance all this? Cause I do so much. I, I'm low key a workaholic. Like I love my YouTube channel. I love going to work. Like, how am I going to, you know, balance all that with my man, but also my man, well, my, if he is destined to be my man, he's a workaholic too. So we just going, we going to have to just, you know, my, my, yeah. Oh, who put that? My, my, yeah. Whoa, my, my, yeah. Man. <laughs> my friend Sandra keeps saying that when I be talking to her about him. Um, but all right, y'all. So anyway, I hope that you guys are doing good. Let's get into, you know, a couple of things. Uh, child, child, y'all, did y'all see that OJ Simpson died? OJ Simpson done kicked the bucket. How do y'all feel about that? Like, I saw that the New York Times eulogized this man. And I thought it was really like interesting to see that. Like, let me see if I could bring it up. I thought this was really interesting. <sighs> Old James Simpson, football star whose trial riveted the nation dies at 76. I mean, this is a really nice article. Um, he ran to football fame uh, and made fortunes in movies. His trial for the murder for his former wife and her friend became an infliction point on race in America. I mean, 1997, I, I was, I was, I didn't understand none of this shit that was happening. You know, like, do y'all ever look back, even for those of us who were just small kids or those of you, those of us who weren't born yet, do y'all ever like look at the documentaries? I mean, we've all seen the documentaries. We've all seen the stuff. Like, do y'all ever think, damn, that jury got it wrong? Um, I was thinking about this as somebody who's a true crimer. I watch a lot of true crime, right? And I really feel like one thing, one not feel, but I, one thing that I've learned through watching uh, true crime is a lot of times it's not necessarily that the jury gets it wrong. It's that the wrong um, charges are, are, are placed. So the jury, when they're making a decision, you know, they have to consider the charges. And sometimes the evidence does not match the charges, if that makes sense, right? Um, so I think that was one of the factors. But also, when you look at the times back then, this was a very, the OJ Simpson trial wasn't just about him killing that white lady, allegedly, 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 okay? It wasn't just about him killing that white lady. Um, It was about the fact that he was black, she was white, and the man was coming for a black man. This was another incident of you know, uh, 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 white America coming for the black man, right? This was more than just a murder trial. This like race, racism was on trial. And please y'all, when I'm singing y'all, please, uh, somebody call me Judge Jesse. I'm screaming. <laughs> please y'all, when I'm singing during the live, please harmonize with me. Cause I ain't got, I ain't got my background vocals. Where are my background singers? Background singers, you know, you know that video of uh of Patty LaBelle when she's singing Hang All the Mistletoe, and she don't remember, she don't remember the lyrics or nothing. Background singers, where are my background singers? Girl, you don't what you didn't know hang all the mistletoe. I'm gonna get to know you better. Like, come on now, please. But harmonize with me, please. Um Somebody said OJ's legal team did a great job at creating reasonable doubt to the jury. I, I was gonna say that as well. I was gonna get, I mean, hello. He had the best lawyer. I mean, of all time. Like, he had the best criminal defense lawyer of all time. Like, come on. 
Johnny Cochran, best lawyer of all, of all time, um, best criminal defense lawyer money could buy. Um, if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. But we all know he killed that white lady. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. We all know he killed that white lady and her white friend. We know he killed the people because they remember it, it, what happened in, 20, in, in 2016. Was it no 2006, 2006? He came out with that book that said, If I did it, come on now, <laughs> if I did it. And he basically did detail, like, if he did do it, how he would have went back. Like, come on now. Then, then he would join in on the jokes, he would make jokes. About if he did, when we all know he killed that lady. Allegedly. 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 Okay. Um, child, OJ's body ain't even cold yet. <laughs> Nicole Brown them. And um, what's the other guy? Ronald Goldman, um, his family was like, listen, where the fuck is the money at? We think all his assets should be liquidated. Because remember, too, they had had that $33 million uh, settlement. Because after he got freed, well, after he was found acquitted, um, their families, you know, got together, filed a living, a, a civil lawsuit. They won a $33 million settlement. Do you know how much of the $33 million um, OJ Simpson paid them people? $137,000, y'all. <laughs> Hey, 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 somebody had an animation of Hitler welcoming OJ to hell. I <laughs> not Hitler. <laughs> Send his ass to hell. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hell, you're going to hell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hell, you're going to hell. You're going to hell. <laughs> Send his ass to hell now, okay? Because what the fuck? Send his ass to hell, okay? Um, They said Hitler welcome him. Um, did y'all see Caitlyn Jenner say good riddance? My God. I was like, what the fuck did he do to what the fuck did he do to Miss Dot Fire? Why, <laughs> bitch? Why, why are the kids online calling Caitlyn Jenner Miss Dot Fire? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I could show this. Oh, period. Nia. Oh, does that mean you? Does that mean you gave me nine dollars? Oh my God! Thank you so much, Nia. The OJ trial happened right after the white cops were acquitted for beating the brakes off of Rodney King on camera. The entire black community won our lick back. That's so true. So true. So true. Very true. Very true. Um. Very true. This person said the media blew it all out of proportion. It didn't need to be on every TV channel. Jesse, no bloody clothes, no knife. When the when when the, they when they said on TV that OJ's ex-wife died, I knew he would be blamed. Yeah, I mean the thing was the thing is there was no evidence. That's why that's why that that if the glove don't fit, you must acquit because that the glove was all they had. The glove was all they had. And that shit didn't fit. They had to acquit. That shit didn't fit. It had to acquit. What y'all think about Miss Doubtfire telling him good riddance? <laughs> what the fuck? I said, is Bruce mad because OJ is Chloe's real daddy? You know, that's been a rumor. Allegedly. Allegedly. 
allegedly, allegedly. This is all alleged, okay? But they said they said they said Chris Jenner had cheated on Rob Kardashian with OJ and had Chloe. They got the same chin. They got the same chin, bitch. Um, well, let me let me see if I can find. Hold on. Because as soon as that motherfucker died, people was telling Chloe. <laughs> they said this is Chloe Kardashian. Wait, can y'all see this? Wait, why is it not letting me show y'all? They said this is Chloe Kardashian, child. I'm screaming. <laughs> I don't know why. I said, what the fuck going on? Why is Miss Doubtfire so mad at Kate at, 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 at OJ Simpson? And then people were like, bitch, don't forget the fact that you actually um killed somebody as well. That you deleted, you deleted a person because um you were in a car accident. Let me find the article. Caitlyn Jenner car accident. Child. Oh, I guess she had another tweet. Oh, I. Oh, Caitlyn Jenner tweeted this. I know y'all think it's cute to compare a fatal car accident with multiple vehicles involved to a brutal murder. But remember, OJ said something to the effect of, I could kill her, Nicole, and get away with it because I'm OJ Simpson. I mean, he did say that, but you still you still deleted somebody. <laughs> y'all both, y'all both going to hell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hell. You're going to hell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hell. You're going to hell. You're going to hell too. Okay? Hey, whoa. Hey, hey. Why none of that? Hey, whoa. Both of y'all going to hell. Both of y'all going to hell. Okay? And you also going to hell for terrorizing us. Because... <laughs> You know, I didn't know that the LGBTQ community couldn't stand Caitlyn Jenner either. I thought it was just us. But apparently the, the LGBTQ community cannot stand Caitlyn Jenner too. <laughs> they said, bitch, we don't give a fuck how many a pair of titties you buy, bitch. We still don't accept your ass. <laughs> Miss Doubtfire, we don't give a fuck how many titties you buy. Okay, we don't give a fuck how many nips and tucks you get, bitch. We don't give a damn if you buy a new vagina. We do not care. We do not accept you either. And I think it has a lot to do with her, um, her well, Miss Doubtfire stance, uh, uh, politically too. She, very problematic, very problematic views for someone who is of the LGBTQ community and not. It's just. Child, you, you, but apparently, um, somebody said, oh, it wasn't Caitlyn that killed them people. It was Bruce. No, nah, when I look at the, th the stuff, it looked like it was, oh, it was Bruce. Face a barrage of negative, uh, after celebrating OJ's passing with good riddance. I'm sorry. Saying good riddance to somebody who just died. That's, I'm sorry. What? And mind you, this was your friend once upon a time. Y'all was double dating and shit. Like. When did the tides turn? When did the tides turn? Like, girl. Let me see. I'm trying to see the 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 the, the car accident, but girl, we listen. The internet don't care. They still feel like you was involved in it. So period. Uh, and, 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 and you better make sure that you pay them people their settlement money. Um, all right, let's move on, y'all. What did I want to talk about today? Oh, did y'all see that Fallon threatened Portia Williams? Now, I don't know about Portia Gobadia, but I know Portia Williams would... You know what? Let me let me just let me just play the let me just play this because this lady is really I think she's really delusional. But let's play this clip and let's talk about Portia and Fallon Child. No. The whole relationship you don't think was real? You don't think it was real at all?
Were you shocked to find out when Portia and Simon separated? No, was anybody? Do you think that was real? No. The whole relationship you don't think was real? You don't think it was real at all? No, I think it was just a ploy to get back at me. So let me ask you this. If you if you ever ran into Portia, what would you talk to her about? That wouldn't be a safe scenario. Oh. oh. Why? It's smoke. For her or? It's smoke. That. I mean, at the end of the day, she knows what she did. It, it could play out in the media however everybody wants to try to play it out. I know what she did. Simon knows what she did. Portia knows what she did. That wouldn't be a safe scenario. So I wouldn't even put myself in a predicament of even allowing that. You know, I'm a grown woman now. Oh, to talk to her. Talk to her. Ain't gonna be no talking. Girl, the way Portia Williams would skin this lady. The way Portia Williams would two-piece this lady. Is she okay? Is she okay? Is she let's just start there. Is she okay? Did y'all see Portia's family uh, family special when she almost two piece Dennis? <laughs> like, let me tell you something. Por Por like Portia Holyfield, <laughs> the way she needs to register her fist as two weapons, like that ass. Like Portia would skin this lady alive. Are you okay? Portia, Portia Williams, we hey, 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 But aside from the fact that we know that Portia would skin this lady alive, um, what did I say? Oh, thank you, Amani, back from Ghana and came right today. Oh, period. You know, I love Ghana, child. But the way Portia would skin this lady alive. Can we be for real? Um, what does it say? <laughs> Baby, I'll hold her shoe. <laughs> she dragged that whole by. Oh my God. Oh my God. We don't condone violence. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all think Fallon can't fight? No. <laughs> no, we don't. Even if she can, she's not going to fight Portia. She not finna fight Portia Holyfield. No, that's not happening, sis. Unsafe for who? <laughs> Roxy. Roxy, what's up? Roxy said, but not over no Simon. It, like, can we can we start there? Can we start there? Simon. Simon, who like we like, it's been brought to light that Simon is a whole Simon is lesion. Simon. The whole Risa Tisa story was about Simon. Okay. The whole Risa Tisa story was about Simon. Something tells me that Simon don't got no money. And while I am watching this, because when you watch the clip again, like she, she, she's like, oh, uh, Simon, uh, I know what Portia did. Simon knows what Portia did portion like what are you trying to tell us because as i was watching it i was like you know what y'all this whole simon thing was a scheme that todd set up to come to us with the bullshit let me tell you what the scheme was Simon was, Simon has been trying to get on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And at the time, Fallon was his, was his ticket in. I think Fallon knew Dennis and Portia. You know, Portia and Dennis knew uh, uh, Fallon and, and Simon. And Simon and Fallon felt they could get in through Portia. Okay. So you had Fallon who was there that season, right? But Fallon wasn't a hit enough to get a peach. 
And I also don't feel like uh, 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 Fallon was was a hit enough for them to even think about bringing her back. And so when that plan wasn't working, I think Simon went on to the next best thing, which was Portia. Simon wanted to be the next Peter Thomas. I believe that with my entire heart. Simon wanted a peach. Simon wanted to be Peter Thomas. And so if he couldn't do it through Fallon, he was going to do it through Portia. Then we see, okay, Portia falls in love. You know, Portia didn't do her research, unfortunately. She found out all the stuff about Simon just in the at the same time that we did. So she didn't do her research, okay? And she finds all this stuff out. She goes running for the hills. <laughs> uh, Roxy says, Simon is good TV, though. He's messy. He's great TV. He's great TV. He's great TV. I think he would have been great on Housewives. Great on Housewives. Like, we didn't really see him that much with Fallon because Fallon wasn't a main, main story. But... I think he would have been great with Portia. Great TV. He definitely would have gave Peter Thomas. He definitely would have gave what's um Mia's husband and and and, and Will House, Will Housewives of Potomac when he said you want <laughs> he said you want fair go to a carnival, baby. Give that man his peach. Give Mia's husband his peach. Give him his peach or whatever the fuck they get a Housewives of, of Potomac. Uh, uh, what they give him over there? Plums strawberries give him his straw get gordon give gordon his strawberry gordon give gordon his strawberry okay i think simon wanted to be on the show which is why we see as soon as portia williams filed for divorce what did he do he locked her out. He tried. He he locked her out the mansion. He called the police on her when he tried when she tried to come get her stuff. Mind you, the mansion that they're in, the seven million dollar mansion, according to their prenup, Portia is supposed to live in it. He was supposed to give that house up within seven business days to Portia, according to their prenup that his lawyers drafted. Portia is the goal. Portia got that man to give her a prenup where she would be able to stay in the mansion even and while his dusty ass, bald headed ass can stay in there. She in there. His dusty ass can't come inside, but PJ in there. His dusty ass can't come inside, but Miss Diane in there. We all in there. Simon ain't in it, but we in it. <laughs> we all in there. You can't come in. But we all in there. He couldn't come in, but we could come right on in. Not out, buddy. <laughs> Bitch, we could come in there. Simon couldn't come in there, but we in there. Then he called the police on my. She tried to pew 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 him. She had a she had to make the police pull the cameras. The camera show ain't nobody trying to pew 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 nothing. She was trying to go in there and get her stuff. And he and then he he locked her out so she couldn't have PJ's birthday party. He ruined PJ's birthday party because he he shouldn't have been in there. Simon, what do you do for all we know? He probably was he probably was down there with Carisha and them being a little sex worker for Diddy. <laughs> Wasn't he down there on a yacht in Miami recently with Jeezy and them? What you, what you was doing down there? For all we know, Simon's real job is being a little sex worker. Allegedly. 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 Because we know he ain't got no damn money. Son, there's a YouTuber on here who's been on his ass, exposing his ass. I said, oh my God, this man ain't got no money. This man scammed my sister. Scammed my sister into thinking he was a Nigerian king. Whole damn time, he ain't got, he ain't got two quarters to rub together. Okay? You little sex worker, you. <laughs> um, What else? There was more to this interview, too. Let's watch this. Hold on. Really looking for someone who's real, 
who's authentic. Mm. And I, I feel like that's really hard to find these days. You know, nobody, nobody knows how to just be themselves anymore. Everybody wants to keep up with the Joneses or be somebody it is that they believe that they're supposed to be. Or, you know, there's a lot of men who want wives but don't want to be husbands. Mm. So um, I think that's that's really what I'm looking for. I mean, it's open to women as well. It's not just men. Oh, Wait, that's a <laughs> this girl is confused. Mind you, this girl got five kids, five baby daddies. Mind you, too, she keeps blaming, oh, Portia know what she did, Simon know what she did. Girl, you were sleeping with the pool boy. You were married with Simon. You started hunching the pool boy. Not only, you was hunching the pool boy with no condom in Atlanta. You was, you was hunching the pool boy, no condom in Atlanta. Have y'all seen the STD statistics for people in Atlanta? Baby, the way I'm about to put a condom on my face just to kiss niggas. <laughs> Baby, I got like, Atlanta got so many STDs right now. We should have face condoms just to kiss niggas. Atlanta is number three. I think they said Atlanta's number three in the A's. Not the A's. A we need face condoms just to kiss niggas. I can't even, I can't go down there and share no hookah with y'all niggas. I can't do that. The thing too, when you go down to Atlanta, you go down to a hookah bar, niggas is French kissing the hookah. Niggas is deep throating the hookah. They not, they not, they not uh, 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 interchanging their little hookah thing. They all, they all sucking up on the same hookah thing. They tongue kissing the hookah. Atlanta. She was fucking the pool boy raw. Getting that raw meat. And she was married. A, 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 a married women's. Okay. She was a married win. Oh, thank. Oh, Lord. Okay. She was a married women's getting raw meat from the pool boy. But she want to sit here and talk about Portia. Portia knew what she did. Portia ain't do shit. Portia ain't owe you nothing. You was down there. You around there fucking the pool boy raw. Gave that little pool boy a whole baby. Talking about, oh, Portia know what she did. Girl, you did the thing. You, you fucked up the thing because you were down there having raw meat. Raw pool boy meat. Hey, whoa, hey, hey, you was getting that raw meat. Hey, whoa. <laughs> you was getting raw meat from the pool boy. Simon was smart. Simon was like, let me go ahead and get see what Portia, did, what Portia doing. Let me see what Portia doing. You was getting pool boy meat. You fucked up the thing. That's your business. Set business foul. Qui est qui devo yo al monte pool boy la? Pa ke mon ki te do al al kon ya pool boy la. You can flat. You can do a little flat. Who the fuck gonna sit there like you got a Nigerian millionaire and here you go fucking the pool boy raw. Be for real. Then you talking about oh it's a lot of men who want wives who don't want but they don't want to be husbands. Girl, you you girl. I know your daycare bill is crazy. <laughs> he isn't a millionaire. Well, yeah, you're right. You're right, allegedly. Okay, so please cut the shit. Somebody said because Simon was cheating. She was cheating too. One thing about Simon, I will say, he a scammer, but he not a liar. If that makes sense. He a scammer, but he not a liar. Does that make sense? What you said? I love you to pieces, but you're loud and wrong. The time 
the the timeliness is she started dating a pool boy afterwards girl simon had dropped the receipts on that already she was already fucking the pool boy he had dropped the receipts he had dropped the damn what you call it he a scammer but he had the receipts <laughs> listen i don't got a dog in this fire i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck whether she fucked the pool boy afterwards or backwards or in front of what's i don't care all i know is now you on now you on here talking about men who don't want to be husbands it's like girl you got five kids five baby daddy and i don't like to, i don't like to shame people like that but we need to bring back shame because at, at a certain point when you when, when you out here just gifting niggas with kids you don't need to be out here talking about no damn marriage. <laughs> you don't need to be out here talking about what, what men want to be. You need to shut the fuck up and sit your ass down somewhere. Men don't want no, no. You need to sit down. You need to figure out what you want to be. Okay? Go figure out what you want to be, sister. Okay? All right. Um, but yeah, what y'all think about the whole, um, uh, do y'all think she's trying to get on housewives? I think she's trying to get on housewives too. I think she's trying to get on housewives, but that's not going to happen. I'm pretty sure Portia Williams already done told them people, baby, you bring her back and I'm, I'm gone. And they're not going to risk, they're not going to risk, uh, losing Portia. They're not going to risk that. <laughs> Somebody said she wants to be a kid donor. <laughs> Yeah, she wanna be a she, she wanna be a kid donor at this point. Like, girl, be for real. Be for real. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you are a kid donor. Girl, you're a kid donor. All right. Um, but yeah, I think she's trying to be on on on, on, on housewives. Oh, good luck to her. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, what's next? Jeannie Ma versus oh, Jeannie Ma Jenkins versus Jeezy. <laughs> Jeannie Ma Jenkins versus Jeezy. I don't know, y'all. It's something so funny about that shit to me. Jeannie Ma Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> Jeannie my Jenkins guys are we being for real <laughs> hey, <whoa. laughs> I'm sorry Jeannie my Jenkins guys <laughs> let's be for real <laughs> like where did we see this going where did we see this going Jeannie my Jenkins where did we see this going um <laughs> I'm sorry I don't know why it's just like bruh this shit is crazy um y'all Jeezy's asking that lady for primary custody of their daughter I'm sorry <laughs> Jeezy is diabolical. It's not funny, but it's funny because this nigga is that Yo, I did not know Jeezy was like, like Jeezy is a diabolical man, but I'm not mad at him because he, I'm, let, let's walk this back, right? Let's walk this back. Um, Remember a couple months ago, Jeannie Ma Jenkins has said she that she feared for their baby's safety around Jeezy because Jeezy had guns. Let me see if I can find this. Jeannie Ma Jenkins. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Um, there it is entertainment tonight oh can i share this how do i share my screen damn y'all i don't know how to do this i'm still learning this live shit. um 
But okay, Jeannie Ma Jenkins has safety concerns amid Jeezy custody case. This was published December 20th. In new court filings, Jeannie Ma Jenkins refused, <laughs> refused Jeezy's gatekeeping claims. So before this, um, earlier in the month, in, back in December, Jeezy was like, yo, she's gatekeeping my child. She's not... Uh, <laughs> She's not letting me see the child when I want to see the child. She's gatekeeping my baby. So um, so he filed a, a court filing about that for, for custody, about like making sure that they both see the child when they want. He called her a gatekeeper. Jeannie uh, is refuting claims that she's acting like a gatekeeper of their daughter with her estranged husband, Jeezy, during their, conten their conten cont contentious, Lord have mercy, can I read? Uh, during their contentious divorce battle, My uh, 44 has filed a response to the rapper's accusations that she has been gatekeeping their daughter. Um, in the court documents filed in Fulton County last month, the uh, Jeezy revealed, uh, requested a judge to address temporary custodial arrangements after the previously agreed upon visitation schedule became increasingly less feasible. Um, so let me see. So this is what she says. It is essential. It is essential to clarify that Ms. Jenkins' insistence on reasonable safety measures being put in place, such as safe, safely securing and locking away all firearms that have been unsecured in the past, as well as having familiarity, familiarity and properly trained caregivers, is absolutely not gatekeeping. Um, so like now all of a sudden she was worried about his gun. She was worried about who was going to be around her child. And it's like, this is Jeezy the snowman, girl. That's who you, that's who you married. You married Jeezy the snowman. Be for fucking for real. And now all of a sudden you're scared. Like it, to me, it had a little bit of a racist, a, a racial tone to me. Now, some of y'all be saying, Jess, everything is not about being black. Everything's not about being black. But I, I don't know. You, you went from black meat on the side, white meat keeps me lean to, oh my God, let me be submissive to my black king. To now it's, I have safety concerns for our child being around my around, around this man. I just, it gave, I don't know, it just gave a racial undertone to me, a racist undertone to me, okay? Um, but not only that too, so a couple of weeks back, Love B. Scott reported this. Uh, Jeezy was pleading with the court to seal all their information about their divorce, right? And so while Jeezy was doing that, she actually asked the court to keep everything unsealed. This was written back, what's the date on this? March 3rd. So last month. Okay. Um, Jeezy in his motion said that uh, the public nature of the divorce risks exposing sensitive information that could harm Monaco. He believes that keeping such details confidential in his child is in his child's best interest. Okay. So he wanted privacy. All right. Jeannie said, no, she doesn't want privacy. She wants everything to be public information. What does that tell y'all about Jeannie, my Jenkins? What does that tell y'all about Jeannie, my Jenkins? Jeezy wanted all the court filings to be sealed. She wants us to see this. So we could sit down here and be in their business. <laughs> sit down here on just a couple things and have this on the docket. <laughs> and just, you know, just talk about talk about their business. And I think that that says a lot about Jeannie Ma Jenkins. Why do you want us to know all this? Why do you want us to know all this? So what was this marriage about? You know what it just gives? I remember Funky Dineva had said that he had come out and said that the insiders that he had had told him that, you know, their main differences were that Jeezy wanted to be private. She wanted a more public relationship. She wanted the public to see them out and about. She wanted to be in the eyes of the public. And Jeezy didn't want that. And I think when I saw her fight this motion, I'm like, okay, girl, yeah, like he was right. And not only that, y'all, 
I remember I got dragged on Dish Nation for saying I didn't give a fuck. I didn't. I I didn't give a fuck. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see. I didn't care for her positioning in this. I really just didn't. And I never said this, but the re one of the reasons why I felt this way was because I know about two to three people who used to work for Jeezy. The minute, and mind you, they have been working for Jeezy for years. The minute Jeannie My Jenkins entered the picture, a lot of their a lot of Jeezy's work relationships became very, very strained, and these people left. And she played a big part of that. I never said that. You know, and, and just to protect, I, I'm, I'm going to say this is alleged. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. I'm going to just say that. But these are things that I, I literally spoke to two people and they, they told me this. They're like, yeah, I, we couldn't take her anymore. We just couldn't. I won't go into detail about what they said, but, and they were both black women. Worked with Jeezy for years, for years, 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 years. And she came into the picture and it was, no, nah, can't do it. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. This is all alleged. Okay. So with them telling me that, and then seeing how this divorce is playing out and how Jeezy is trying to keep a low profile and she's not. Yeah. Um, somebody said, wah, 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 wah. He got exactly what he wanted. That I, I see that point too. I see that point too. His financials would be exposed to the other moms. Oh, that too. Ooh. Good point. That's a good point. That could be a good reason for him not, not to want the public to see this. Because who knows? Who knows what his financial um, agreements are with his uh, other child? Is it two other child? Is it two other children? I think it's two other kids. No? Or is it just one? Not sure. But yeah. Good point. Um, but also Jeannie Ma, it's like, they're both not, they're both not innocent in this. They both got a lot of things going on, but yeah, y'all. So let me know what y'all think about Jeannie Ma Jenkins, <laughs> Jeannie Ma Jenkins and, and, and Jeezy, uh, and this divorce. It's just really messy. Like I feel like it's just so messy considering just they were not even together that long. Y'all weren't even together for long, long. Y'all weren't even together for a long time. And is, is this messy? Yeah, this is a lot. This is a lot. Um, all right, y'all. I haven't done a social schedule, a, a, not social schedule, a social media scandal in a minute where we just talk about something that I see on socials. So this actor was given this advice to women and it came across my timeline and I wanted to share with y'all. I really want to see what y'all think about this. Um, let me see if I can play it. All right. You know, you're already over 35. You got two, three kids. You talking about your man cheat, you about to leave. Where you about to go? Single's not bad. Yeah, that's what, that's what... <laughs> That's the also that's the fairy tale in your mind. Stop playing. Stop playing. You that's not what you want to do. That's not you're not being honest. Single is look, single is cool for about a month or two. After a while, you don't want to get your back blown out. After a while, you're gonna want to have some dinners. After a while, you're gonna get tired of just hanging around your girlfriends. After a while, you're gonna get tired of, of every night hanging with your kids and your cats. You're going to get tired. Y'all not being honest. You said no kids, but how old are you? We're not even, we're not even, we haven't even gone into looks. We're not talking about if y'all in shape or not. You better consider all of that. Yeah, no kids is one thing. But now we got, we got to consider everything. 
everything. If we talking about, if we talking about how a man is looking at you. All I'm, look, I'm not tearing nobody down. I'm just trying to help you out to live in the truth. You mess around, get your feelings hurt, living in in this fairy tale world. You gotta come to the truth. Yeah, there's peace in being single. There's also loneliness. I can't do this with y'all. Y'all not y'all not ready to be honest. Okay, I gotta go. Y'all not ready. Women do better when they're single. It's a scientific fact. I'm sick of listening to boys try to fear women into toxic BS. What about STD? Let me see what some of y'all are saying. Is he married? That's the real question. Oh, okay. Put the microphones down. Put the microphones down. Unplug the microphone. Unplug the microphone. Unplug the microphone. Unplug the microphone, please. Unplug the microphones, please. Unplug the microphones, please. Stop we. Deploge microphone yo, deploge microphone yo, deploge microphone yo, deploge microphone yo. Unplug the microphones. We gotta unplug these microphones, and he wasn't—he wasn't even on a microphone. <laughs> we gotta unplug these mics. We gotta unplug these mics, bro. Um, you know what? I'm starting to understand when it comes to these men who have these stupid ass discussions every day. Men, these red pill guys, because not all men see things this way, but red pill men cannot believe that women have a choice these days. They really don't understand the fact that women have a choice these days. Women are getting to choose what happiness looks like. Women are getting to choose what success looks like. Women are getting to choose what contentment looks like. Women get to choose what lonely list looks like. We get to pick our lonely. Here you are trying to dictate what loneliness is to a woman who hasn't even asked you. We dictate how we spend our time. We dictate how we get our money. We're dictating so many things now. And the men are so uncomfortable with that. And instead of just figuring out how to add to a woman, they're always trying to figure out how to subtract. And their way of subtracting is telling a woman, you're going to be lonely. You're not going to be with nobody. You're over 35. You ain't got no kids. Oh, you got kids. Nobody wants you. Like, it's just so tiresome. It's so exhausting to watch and to listen. Someone said being alone doesn't necessarily mean lonely. And you're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. As someone who has been single for six years, as someone who has not had a relationship yet in my 30s, I see nothing wrong with this. I see nothing wrong. This has been a time for me to figure my life out, figure myself out, figure out what I want to do, figure out what I like, figure out what I don't like. 
Men act like a woman can't get her back blown out without being in a relationship. Dick is a dime a dozen. Kevin Samuel's son, get on my nerves. <laughs> Nia, such a true comment. That's so true because he's like, oh, after a while, you're going to need your back blown out. Okay, I'll call somebody over. I'll call her old reliable over. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. I said, I've been single three years and I got a little friend, but he knows I'm not, I'm not about to be oh, damn, cooking and clean. What? I don't know, lost. Somebody said, I'd rather be single and happy than to be in a relationship and miserable, period. As somebody who hasn't been in a relationship in six years, that's why I like, in six years, have I dated? Yes, but I've told, if you guys watch my channel, I've told you guys I don't do a good job of dating. I feel like I could do a way better job of dating. I have never really dating has not ever been like a strong point for me thank you so much detours um dating has never been a strong point for me um dating multiple people has never been a strong point it's just I, i've never really been able to do that um and sometimes i've i've been jealous of people not jealous but I've been like, wow, like I wish I could do what, what so-and-so is doing. I wish I could date like so-and-so was dating. I wish, like I wish because like it looks so lit. It looks so much fun, but I be in my own world. Like I, you know, I go on a couple of dates and then I'm good. Like I got, I got other shit to do. I got my own stuff to handle. I, I don't, I don't want to keep seeing these niggas, <laughs> you know, like that's how I be. I don't, I don't, okay. I, I'm tired of seeing these niggas. I'm tired, you know? Um, someone said, I love being single. Yeah. Like that's another thing too. Like when you're single past a certain point, you just get so used to it, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I feel like these men, they're just so angry that women are getting to choose what our lives look like. And a lot of times our lives don't include them because like they don't really add much these days. I've been single for a while and I'm content getting my life together. Jesse, we are the same. I feel you, sister. Thank you, Tashana. Yeah, like I've just been getting my life together. And again, like I've, I was talking about Mr. Easter earlier in the video, but I feel like, you know, if this should be my last stop, I feel like he's coming at a good time in my life because I, I have figured out a lot of things. Like I've, I've, I've accomplished, you know, a lot of things for myself, like buying my own home, you know, like buying my own vehicles, you know, like just making sure that I'm financially okay. Like I've done this on my own. And so if he's coming in, he's going to be, he's going to, he's going to have to add to that. And, you know, from the, the guy that I've met and the guy I've been seeing, like he, he, he's definitely a man that would add to that. That's what I would be looking for. Not for a man who's trying to sit me down, trying to convince me that I, I don't need this. I don't need that. If you don't do this, you're going to be by yourself. We'd never have any conversations like that. This man is always praising me for who I am, praising my character, you know, and, and, and big, bigging me up. That's what I need. And I'm going to do that for my man too. I'm gonna big you up too, you know? But I don't know, I just feel like it's just so ashy. I, I really miss when men used to build things and go to war. I I I I wish I wish men would go back to building homes and going to war. <laughs> Ain't there a war being fought somewhere that y'all niggas need to be on the front lines for? Y'all could leave me, leave us the hell alone. Like y'all not tired of terrorizing us. Shock you. Put the microphones down. Put the microphones down and go to war. It's a war outside. Ain't there a war going on right now? Go stand in the front line somewhere and leave us alone. <laughs> Okay, y'all are annoying. Somebody said we need UPS drive, and we do. We need UPS drivers, bro. We need people. What happened to the men who know how to put tile down? I have been trying to get somebody in here to do my bathroom tile for weeks. 
Remember the times when you could find somebody ASAP to come do some shit in your house? Those days are gone. Those days are gone. I'm gonna have to go down to uh, 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 to Home Depot and pay full price and pay some white man the money instead of putting that shit into my community. Finding me a young black man doing all he can to come put my towel down. I'm gonna have to go down to Home Depot and have one of them motherfuckers come do this shit. Because all of you are under microphones. Chaque jour, c'est microphones. Chaque jour. Chaque jour, c'est microphone. Microphone, microphone. Chaque jour. Meanwhile, I'm trying to pay somebody to make, do a bathroom makeover for me, and I can't find nobody. Can't find nobody. That shit is crazy. Somebody said, okay. Somebody said, have Jose do it down to Home Depot. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's another thing. Y'all not going to like this, but maybe the Hispanics, they still out there building shit. The His when do you see Hispanic men online doing this shit? <laughs> Roxy said, my daddy could do it for you. Thank you, Roxy. Okay. I'm going to hit you and your daddy up. But when do y'all see, when do y'all ever see the Hispanic men online doing this shit? The Hispanic men don't be doing that shit. The Hispanic men be busy getting their como la flor down to somebody's house building homes. They still out here building homes. They still putting tile down. You better believe it. Because even when I moved into my home, I needed somebody to change the tile on my, on my den and in my room. And guess what? It was Hispanics. It sure was some Hispanics. Getting that come on our floor, getting the come on our floor on and changing my floor. Come on our floor. You don't ever see, you don't ever see Hispanics getting online and doing this shit. <laughs> you don't ever see somebody's laughing like a Hispanic. Ja, 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 ja. Why do Hispanics laugh like that? Baby, you don't ever see Hispanics doing this shit. <laughs> Tashana, I blame COVID for the microphone. I'm suing Amazon. Oh, my God. Amazon had the microphones for $2 during COVID. Everybody picked one up. Everybody picked one up. <laughs> Why do Hispanics be <laughs> ja, 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 ja. Why do Hispanics do this? Hispanics, I love y'all. Okay? I love the Hispanics, okay? The only Hispanics I don't fuck with is Dominicans who don't acknowledge that Haitians and Dominicans are the same people. Them the only ones who get smoked from me all motherfucking day. But the rest of y'all good with me, okay? And the white Cubans. I can't stand the white Cubans down in Miami who be getting that, eh, eh, eh. I will vote for Donald Trump. Uh-uh, I can't stand you. Voy a rezar por Donald Trump. No. <laughs> I cannot stand y'all Donald Trump. I cannot. I cannot do the Donald Trump. I cannot do the Donald Trump, people. I cannot, okay? But to the rest of my Hispanics, bitch, vivir mi vida, okay? Okay? Voy a reír, okay? Um, azúcar, all right? But the rest of y'all... <laughs> you don't ever see Hispanics get on here and do this bullshit. <laughs> I do not fuck with the I know block. I do not fuck with them. Okay. And all Dominicans ain't like that though. I have Dominican friends who are very pro black and they be like, girl, we don't know what the fuck be going on with the rest of them. I know black, but okay. Um, but bitch, the Hispanics don't ever get on here and do this shit. You don't ever see Hispanic men get online talking about they not doing this, they not doing that, they want a woman this. They what what do you bring to the table? Baby Jose is building a table. Jose done built the while you having your little microphone session. Jose done built the table already. Jose done got his como la floor on. He done changed the tile and everything. Done built the table while you having your puss ass live talking about what do women bring to the motherfucking table. Jose done built the table already. Tabla fini, we. Tabla fini. Tabla fini. 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 
So are you racist against black men? Oh my God, are you slow? <laughs> oh my God. Is it, oh, what? Um, wait, 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 <laughs> wait. Men started saying drizzle, drizzle instead of sprinkle, sprinkle. What? I think I saw something like that. I think I saw a video where a man was like, fellas, know your word, drizzle, drizzle. I screamed. <laughs> screamed okay i've screamed um i can't i can't y'all i can't black men are denied wait what black men are denied those construction jobs on purpose see now nah, y'all just be getting on here saying anything i can't um i can't child um but even that, black men saying drizzle, drizzle. Y'all couldn't let the girls have sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all had to come in, drizzle, drizzle. I just hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, but yeah, also too, what is it with black men or, or men in general trying to shame women that are in their 30s? Oh, you in your thirties now, so ain't, ain't, if you if you don't if you got kids, nobody don't want you. If you like, what what is up with that? What is up with that? Do y'all be seeing how men be looking these days in their thirties? Like and and like I like men in their thirties nowadays be looking so worn out. Like worn out. I'll never forget. Like there was this one guy I was seeing, and you know he looked good. Till he took off his hat and his shirt. And this man was in his 30s. And the man had a dad bod, no kids. Why do you have a daddy body and you ain't got no kids? And the thing is, like, not that I'm shaming him, but he was the type of guy who had a lot of things to say about women. So it's like, you have a lot of things to say about women, and here you are walking around with titties. And don't get me wrong, I I I see not, I don't see nothing wrong with a man with titties because that lets me know that's a man who know how to eat good. But you're not going to be sitting here shaming a woman all the time, always got something to say about women, and here you are walking around with double Ds. And then why did I not see that you had double Ds? So you was wearing a girdle this entire time? You was wearing, you was wearing skims? They be having so much to f say about women and like, be built like a milk dud. Like, no. Oh, you know, if a girl get with me, she got to look like this. Sir, your edge, like your hairline are, is behind your ears. You built like free willy. And you have so much to say about women, about how they supposed to be looking when they step. Like, uh-uh. Why are your titties swinging? Hey, you got some titties. Hey, titties bigger than mine. Uh 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 uh. <laughs> Somebody say you. Uh 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 uh. No. Shout out to Lola Brooks. No. Um. Yeah, I just feel like men just be doing the most. Like, please, it's time. Y'all unplug the microphones. And, 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 and you know what? What we need to do too is. The, the 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 laptops got microphones in them. The the phones got microphones in them. We need to we need to build technology that recognizes that if it's a man to shut that shit down. As soon as a man starts, you know what? I think cut it off. We don't want y'all to think. We want y'all to build floors. I need somebody to come do my damn bathroom tile. And y'all are busy giving out advice that we ain't asked you for. Somebody to come up in here and do my damn bathroom tile. We love you, sis. Those types of men, London Browns, London Browns, uh, are not invited to the vocation. Cartagena, Colon. Exactly. They're not coming. Don't come down to Cartagena, okay? We do not want you there. We're going to be having a good time, okay? We're going to be trafficking that ass, okay? 
not that pink powder. <laughs> um, but all right, y'all. Let me let y'all go, child. It's Friday night. I'm gonna go ahead and just find me something to do, child. Okay, I'm gonna go curl my wig real quick. See what I could do. I'm gonna get out in these streets. You know what I'm saying? See what I could do. I'm gonna go. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go buy myself a face condom. Since Atlanta want to be the number one, the number three, the number three HIV city, I'm gonna find myself a, a face condom because I do not want nobody talking to me unprotected. Okay. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for joining me. It was so much fun. I definitely got to do these at least like once a week. So I'm going to try to do a live at least once a week. I know it's Friday. I know y'all about to be headed out. So I want to tell you guys good night. Thank you so much. Oh, some of you guys are my members too. Thank you so much for being members. I appreciate you. I do have a an extended vlog in there with me and Mr. Easter. And um, I think I'm going to just... You know, I'm going to keep doing like the personal stuff, the more personal stuff behind the paywall for those of you guys who, who are interested in it. Also, too, um, damn, I didn't announce my winners. I'm going to announce my winners for the Camille Rose gift bag. You know why I didn't announce it, too? Because I I was waiting on my, my yell stuff to come. So I think it came in today. So I'm going to announce the winners for the giveaways. It's going to be three winners for giveaways next week. And I'll announce them on the main channel, too, so you guys, so everybody can see it um just in case they miss it and um i'm gonna reach out to you guys to get you guys your gifts all right so anyway y'all love you guys love 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 you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one all right Diamonds on my body and they crystal clear. I make magic with these hundreds, watch them disappear. Uh huh. We gon' rain drop some in my ear. If you gon' name drop, let's get it clear. Just you.